Welcome to M1800, A term. Well, it's not really M1800. Welcome to the M1800 syllabus for, oh, look at that. It says C term 22. It's not C term 22. Let me go ahead and fix that. I just want to quickly go through the, uh, the requirements, the things we're going to do in class and, uh, I'd set this up so we don't have to waste any class time doing this. You guys are old enough, I think, to find the syllabus and to read it once I remember to post it. Uh, first off, I know that we've had some struggles getting started with lab this term. We have a plan. We're working it out. So don't, don't worry about that. Don't let that get you upset. We know that we missed some lab time at the beginning of the term, this term, uh, it was kind of, I suppose it was avoidable. I'm not going to say it was unavoidable, but we didn't avoid it. So we're, we're, uh, making lemonade with it. Uh, anyway, so a term 2022. The information that you're going to need to do the class is really all contained in this syllabus, uh, including lecture notes, links to all of the, uh, the readings and the lab activities and the lecture activities that we're going to go ahead and do. Um, so as soon as I'm done with this video, you'll see this video right here in this space. Obviously I haven't put it there cause I haven't made the video yet. Um, but, uh, if you go through the lecture schedule. You can see, yeah, so we did this one already last week. What is manufacturing? Um, if you click on that, it brings you to a page. What is manufacturing? There's a link to the lecture that we did. There's a link to the slides that I didn't use. Um, and there's links to past recordings of this lecture or a lecture like it. Now, I don't have all of my past recordings of the intro lecture. I do have the one that I didn't see 22 though. Uh, if I go back here, thank to that. Um, so this week we're talking about quality manufacturing. We're going to talk about our group projects. We're going to talk about quality manufacturing again. Obviously somebody thinks quality is important in manufacturing. Anyway, if you go through the, uh, the schedule here, uh, typically if you go to a lecture that we're not, we haven't done yet and you go there, the video that's up here, that's the video from the last time I gave this lecture, I did this class. And then the, uh, the archive lectures are down here. These pages, as we get going through the term, I'll be editing these pages. So don't read too far ahead and think that you've got it all because we're changing a few things said, as I mentioned on, uh, Thursday last week, we change stuff all the time. Oh, uh, go back here, back again. All right. So lecture schedule, lab schedule. Well. We haven't posted it yet, but it's going to go on this page. We haven't posted it yet because we're not sure when the computers are going to work and when we're going to have all the materials in place. Um, help hours. Um, we haven't posted help hours yet, but they're going to be on Mondays in the morning. I'm sorry, not Mondays in the morning, Wednesdays in the morning, Friday, all day long. And I think Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday evenings. Um, they're in the labs. We have peer LAs that staff those hours. You come into work on M1800, you come into work on other projects. Um, PLAs, uh, when you get to lab, you'll meet the PLAs. The PLAs are students who have taken the class before, students who have worked in the lab for a while. Each lab group has three PLAs that stays with that group through the term. And they're your first reference, your first resource for getting help in the labs. If the PLAs don't know the answer to the question, well, then they go ask another PLA first. If the PLAs collectively don't know the answer to the question, they find a staff person, ask that person. Ultimately I'm responsible and, and um, sometimes I will get the question and I won't know the answer um, and we'll figure it out together. So that happens grading. This is the one everybody cares about, right? Look at grading. They say, in life that showing up is 80%. Well, in M1800, it's 40%. Uh, the way we're going to rate participation is through a series of, I hate to call them quizzes, but they get deployed on Canvas in the quiz format. You have unlimited attempts to complete the quizzes, the participation grading thingies on Canvas, um, unlimited attempts. And the grading on those is sort of pass fail. If you get a hundred percent on the quiz on the participation ranking item, 
um, you get 100%. If you don't get 100% through that one, it gets scored as a 50%. And if you don't do it or you do it and get all the answers wrong, which is probably really hard, you're going to get a zero for that. But you can keep trying until you get 100% or until you're satisfied with that 50%. Um, this is going to be one that's basically aligned with every lecture, plus a few more that are thrown in. The questions aren't going to be hard. They're going to judge whether or not you gained any information from the topic that we talked about that day. Um, and many of the questions are going to be based on your opinion which means you just have to express an opinion. There is no wrong answer. So there'll be some numerical and mathematical questions. And those will set you up actually for the final exam, which is worth 10% of your grade. So it'll move you from a B to an A or a C to a B or a, well, it won't necessarily move you from an NR to a C, but who is going to get an NR? We're all going to get A's in this class because we're going to work together to make sure everybody gets A's. So, uh, so the numerical questions in those homeworks, participation, grading things, whatever we're going to call them, those will be the same or very similar questions to the ones that are in the final exam. There's a lab exam at the end. It will judge whether or not you paid attention in lab. Um, it's, it's really simple. There are six key steps that we test you on. If you skip one of those steps you get 25% taken off, which means that you could get a negative 150. But if you ask how to do one of those steps, instead of skipping it, you get 5% taken off, which means even if you don't do any of the labs, as long as you know, you don't know anything and you ask how to do it, when you get there, you still get a 70% pass, pass the lab exam. Um, lab exercises, this again is actually participation. Um, you show up, do the work, Tell the PLA when you're done with the work, the PLA will check your work, check you off. Uh, and then it's group project. And we're going to spend a bunch of time on Wednesday of week one, talking about the group project, setting that up. I will be assigning you to groups based on some information, get back from one of those participation things this week. Um, so I'm assigning the groups and you're going to participate in this group project. The basic premise of the project is that you and your group mates are going to be creating a business to do manufacturing, and you're going to figure out how much that's going to cost you and predict how you're going to make that money back. So it covers sort of all, it brings together all of the things we're going to talk about in the class. It brings together understanding of how to do the programming, how to, how to decide how to make the parts. It, it brings together the manufacturing economics. You get to do some of the modeling because you're basically modeling the business. So it covers manufacturing, engineering, and science. It's going to be due at the very end of the term. We're going to do progress reports from each group as we go through the term. Um, and, and we're going to sort of build the rest of the class around the steps to doing this group project. Uh, that's this. Um, so I got this thing in here about late assignments. Um, I don't think that's going to have any impact this term. It's just, it's standard in all my syllabi. Um, there are due dates for the assignments, but with the unlimited attempts, I want to give you a chance to go back and do them over and over again. With that said, if you try to do them all in the last week, you're going to fail. So don't try to do them all in the last week. Stay on track and I'll be, um, I'll be trying to keep you on track as we go through this. Um, don't wait until the end to finish everything, but uh, I don't think we're going to have hard due dates on anything. There's some resources, links to some stuff that we're going to use in the class. Um, and then the schedules. So thank you. If you're still watching, wow, you hung in there. I will see you in class.